And again, stage control didn't need a whole lot of it, but at the end, Snake uh, propels Sabo forward, and this is how Grand Finals is shaping up. Folks, this Grand Boy. Finals uh, being brought to you in conjunction with Pro Guides. You want to elevate your game? You're definitely going to want to hit up Pro Guides. And uh, already a guide by Zero uh, on the site. Beautiful stuff, yeah. but folks, we got ourselves a duel. Roy Tittos in Grand Finals here at Codename Bears 193. It's Sauce, it's Sabo, it's game number one. All right, this is going to be very heated because from I've been saying it uh, night after night, Sauce from the get-go dials it up to 11. I use those exact words to, say, <laughs> to mention how he goes so crazy and crazy wow. nonetheless is still going crazy in Grand Finals. Not calming down at all, Sauce. Uh, Relatively fine himself there, only 15 previously, 23 now, but Sabo has to be shaking in his boots after that first stock claim. Forward smash, very nice job, but Sabo turning around, up B, great tech there from Sauce to keep himself alive after that reversal up B, and he's off stage. Sabo not going to find a two frame with that forward smash. And again, he has to find some foothold as Sabo is starting to charge back. But Sauce, I mean, really piling on damage. It's uh, it's one thing to do that. It's another to uh, be able to secure that kill. And Sauce did. Keep in mind, at only 15%. Now, yeah. Sa Sabo doing good with uh, minimizing the damage that uh, that he received right. for claiming that uh, stock. Only suffering 35 points himself. But, I mean, if this is going to be the pace of the match, it's going to be very back and forth. I mean, one right. piles up 80, the other piles up 75. It's going to be really a race to the finish. And it looks like Sauce is going to be the one who sprints out to the lead for now. The question is, can he put that first point on the board and be two wins away from his first Codename Bears victory? Yeah, right now the question, like you said, uh, he is sprinting ahead, but is it a sprint or is it a marathon? And for a grand finals, it's uh, at least if you're going to game five, it'll definitely be a marathon. Maybe Sabo has a bit more pacing that'll benefit him in the long run. But right now, first round, like you said, writing on the wall might be in favor of Sauce as he's taking the stage control right back. And there's the finisher. No, not finish. Okay, well, it is Roy, yeah. so that will finish. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Roy ditto. So uh, yeah. I think that Sauce had a decent <laughs> idea of what he was doing against Sabo as Sauce finds himself two games away, a verbal show of support mm -hmm. for the young man. And uh, yeah, with the Eagles garb, Fully intact, which, by the way, bring back the Kelly Green, folks. Uh, oh yeah, I I so want that. Man. <laughs> we're not in a we're not an expansion team. Stop dressing like one. Anyway, ooh, ooh, anyway, okay. as uh, hot Sabo, take. Hot as, uh, yeah, no, I, <laughs> I'm just full of hot takes, man. I mean, you're talking to some a, a picture about showering got 3,000 likes. I don't yeah, know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go, go so, check that out on Stu the Announcer. It's not, it's, not my, it's not my takes that make me clearly. It's the <laughs> dumb, easy jokes that I just get handed. That, no. You, that was a double take, and you were, you, know, you were just walking, and you said you double take, and you saw that. that yeah. That is divine providence that you found that, and you were connecting that to Smash. Like, I felt like I had to, and my phone was glitching out. I was like, <laughs> man, I hope this took. Right. So either way, as we go to uh, we go to game number two, that back air going to put Sabo into a severe dis disadvantage. However, that grenade going to put Sauce up upon that platform to give Sabo a free lane back onto the stage, with which he will take stage control. Laying out all those uh, grenades in C4, but uh, Sauce able to roll through that and gain stage control and the stock claim. Very nice. And the taunt coming in. The Sauce taunt has been deployed. We saw how that went uh, maybe uh, two weeks ago. So we'll definitely see uh, if uh, Taunt to get bodied happens or if he finds a resurgence, able to cut out the Nikita with the invulnerability of the uh, ledge grab. But fighting his way back, will not find stage control, and there it is, 2-2 two -two going forward. Truest combo in the game. Mm. And keep in mind that C4 on that right platform, Sauce does need to be cognizant of that, and Sabo trying to take this game high for that very reason, however, Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little aggressive with the trigger finger there. Uh, yeah, on Pokemon Stadium 2, those platforms are elevated. We saw Sabo throw out a C4 connection with the blast radius, making the connection on Pokemon Stadium 1. But on 2, it's not going to find that connection there at all. Still not needing it as he finds C4 on the other side, making it 2-1. 
Sabo thus far. I mean, after adjusting, after losing that first stock from the, from the Roy back air, uh, Sabo has adjusted brilliantly. Wow. However, Sauce saying, you know, you think you got my number. Nah, bro, I switched providers, B. You got to learn it again. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! <laughs> uh, shout out to Super Hot Fire. Yo, if I could get if I could get Super Hot Fire in here for a band. Oh, that would be amazing. Would, oh my god. <laughs> Let, let's get uh let's get a Kickstarter going. Absolutely, dude. Super hot fire to bears. Oh my oh, gosh! Speaking of super hot fire! Super hot C4 Sabo will take game number two. Not so fast, Sauce. You ain't running away with bears quite yet. I have something to say about that and potentially a bracket reset mm -hmm. in the cards for the Philly number five. Finding a great foothold using uh, those grenades to, like we said before, we saw a whole lot of Snake versus Royce tonight. And uh, the same story is being told, just the grenades cutting off all those jabs and uh, tilt setups that Royce are known for that carry off into those aerial strings. He just got chased off of Roy. Out comes the well-practiced Mario. Ooh. Potentially the best Mario in Philadelphia right now. Without a doubt, certainly, yeah. Uh, certainly the one that has carried him to Grand Finals, even as a, even as recently as last week. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, every single time he's been in uh, uh, Grand Finals with a Mario, at least. Looking for, oh, not going for the uh, the jab reset there. He had it there, but went for down smash in return, but uh, didn't pay off for him. Doesn't need it though. Finding those strings, not gonna oh. take out though. But still, he is feeling himself right now, and uh, Sauce taking a ostensibly amount of control in this uh, this round. Now, I do think that Pokemon Stadium 2, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, as I'm sure that they will. I do think that Pokemon Stadium 2 has the shortest distance from stage to ceiling, or it's tied. Uh, yes. It's competitive? Yeah. yeah. So, that's something to be considered. So, maybe some, uh, some kills off the top in the cards for Sauce, but it'll have to come at a higher percentage than this. However, I don't think he'll complain about being up three stops too. Right, and uh, you didn't find the C4 connection there. Wow, Sauce able that, to that dash tech stays out for him. Oh yeah, uh, anyone that has a slide or any sort of, you know, tumble into, you know, just they throw their leg out. Uh, looking at you, Joker. Yep. And, uh, and Simon and Richter, really, too. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, a very hard, uh, hard wall to get around. Sabo using that reverse B, very nice job to skirt around the potential up smash takeout there, but again, Sauce getting that grab and throwing him out to the left side nonetheless, but not going to be able to beat out the Cypher, maybe fearing him a little bit, because uh, it doesn't have that little hurt box, and that will grant Sabo back on stage, missing with the tilt, both weight and shield, because they know the next hit will lead into, oh my gosh, oh my. the mortar coming in clutch! Sabo, Snake is a setup based character now, apparently. <laughs> Beautiful Incredible. stuff. And you know what? Sauce thought that he had it. He thought that, that was his time to claim the stock. He will get it eventually off of that back there. Good edge guard by the number 13 in Philadelphia. However, looking to improve his station. Now, keep in mind, this is a grand final mini boss. Yes. That doesn't just determine the, the Codename Bears 193 champion. It doesn't just determine a pot. This has significant ER implications. Oh, yeah. Sauce, who has made it to grand finals last week, but losing to Juice. Now, if he can take out a number five, this is a resume win for him. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. This is huge. Going up against Sabo, I mean, not as high as Juice, like you said, but PR is PR. And uh, as you mentioned before, we're in those uh, final weeks leading up to the uh, the summer uh, the summer season. And uh, Sabo wow. laying it down, saying, you have to get past me to get any sort of elevation in the PR. Uh, really, this, this maniac sprint that Sauce has been on over the past month, will it be enough to push him over the line to crack the top 10? for I believe the first time in his career in any PR. Mm. Looking for those mortars. Uh, uh, Sauce was stuck on platform. Sabo going for a grab. Okay, actually gets a benefit on that because Sauce will put, reflects it with the cape. Incredible! Sauce cooking him in game number three. He'll go up two to one. He is one game away from perhaps the biggest win of his Smash career thus far. The mental awareness, I mean, he was recognizing that Sabo was throwing out that mortar to, to cover any sort of uh, jump or uh, regular get-up option off ledge, but just the, the speed of Sauce able to counteract that 
and so decisively claiming that round. I mean, I'm I'm left flabbergasted at that. Just this kid, even if he doesn't make top ten, uh, he is a threat to be reckoned with nonetheless. I, I think that excluding Sauce out of top ten, and I know that it's not really my place to editorialize. I'm just the player. Uh, no, I, I can be wrong. Don't worry, I've been wrong before, so no, <laughs> I no, will. No, and, and it's not really my place. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. If Sauce is not top ten, that's that's a miscarriage of justice. Oh, frankly, because uh, yeah. this this string that he has been on over the past couple of um, his past couple of weeks, yeah, he's shown so much maturity in his game, has provided uh, halfway decent results, even as he has oscillated between different characters such Three, as Fox, two, such as Roy, one, as he goes here, go. in game number four, yeah. Pokemon yeah. Stadium two. Even through all of that. The fact remains the same, the fact that he is uh, that he's playing at a super high level and is looking like with a few uh, with a few more weeks of practice, he can take it to just about anybody in Tri-State. He can start going to Jersey and potentially take turns. He can start going up to Zeno and making noise. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Uh, just amazing. And right now, uh, Sabo, at least for tonight, is going to be the last bastion of PR to uh, uh, try to keep himself in his place, and Sabo, no stranger to PR, even in the days of Smash 4, he was rocking it over there. So uh, he is a definite tried and true person. He's been through the rain. He has been weathered and battle tested. So if anybody's gonna take him out, it will have to be him, and it could, it will absolutely be him as he uh, unfortunately takes a stock there, uh, sauce uh, inching ahead, but like we saw before, Sabo, you know, not let himself get down just because he lost the stock. He keeps that mental focus, which all players need to be at that top level. And right now he's playing it super cautiously. He doesn't want to get uh, too much damage racked on. Uh, Snake can provide a lot of uh, ground coverage that could uh, lead to a lot more damage later on. And there it is, Nikita not going to take out just yet, but still a snake control. And another sneaky mortar underneath the stage, no less. Able to get that stock lane finally. And at 65, uh, he's... You know, he's in danger now at 86, uh, but he was, I'd say, relatively okay at 65. Sauce is doing an awfully good job of getting in on Sabo, despite all the options that he's throwing out. Eventually getting taken out by that mortar to lose his first stock, yeah. obviously. But all things considered, showing enough respect for the projectiles, for exactly. the grenades, for the mortars, etc. To keep himself in this, uh, to keep himself in this game number four. But obviously, uh, Providing the wherewithal. I mean, it's not even just like good DI, like he's surviving these uh, these big hits that should be killing him. It really is the fact that he's uh, he's avoiding them. He's avoiding these hits to begin with. Yeah. And dishing out a few of his own. He is one stock away, courtesy of the forward air. And we do have some uh, chance coming in there from that front room. But he gets tossed up from another mortar placement. C4, great shield from him. But the tilt will even it up. We are final stocks, potential final game tonight. We'll see uh, who charges ahead here. Will it be decided or will we go on? Sabo has never been one to go down quietly, Mini Boss. This has been evident throughout, really even before Smash Ultimate came out. And now, as he sits back against the wall, against Sauce, looking for his first code name, Bears Victory, the jab. Looking right here, great pressure with that, uh, that grenade at his back, but still, Sabo charging forward. Great shield pressure by Sabo. Excuse me, by uh, Sauce. Sabo could definitely use them right now, but Sauce has no reason to stop pressing buttons. He might need to utilize that dash attack one more time to make uh, Sauce slow down a little bit. Yeah, but right now, pressure off to the side. Sabo looking for those back airs, but it's sent the other way. Sauce, rather, uh, gonna go Not in. Not punished on landing. No, he tried, but uh, he was fearing, I guess, what Sabo could do. He's trying to play it very earnestly because he knows what uh, Snake could do off the side of the stage, rather, to Roy. Sabo charging in on stage until we are going to another game! Sabo survives courtesy of the up tilt in the middle of the stage. Saw him off stage and the little get back down air. Yeah. Hitting by the slimmest of margins. Not exchanging quite uh, how it Sauce wanted, but allows him to give allows himself a little bit of space. And then the reset to neutral, the up tilt off the roll. We are going to a game five, a potential reset for Sabo. But what does uh, in his Mario. going oh, Mario? Here we go. And Sauce means business. So as we go to this game five, 
Again, the implications of this game cannot be understated, especially as we close out this second season of the Philadelphia PR and Smash Ultimate. Pokemon Stadium 2 will be the destination. What does Sauce have to do, in your opinion, to close this out right here, right now? Uh, it's going to be really hard. Maybe he's a little more well prepped with Mario, but uh, he has to turn on the uh, the pressure uh, as he's doing right now, reading rolls, reading uh, just uh, those options that Sabo can do, and he's more, as you can see, more well practiced with Mario to get those damage uh, those damage situations in at their uh, most crucial moment. And really, the off-stage game, nonetheless, uh, is a huge benefactor as well. Cypher might snipe with that a little bit, but we saw how lethal Sauce can be with that forward air after those up air strings. So this is a fantastic pick for him to try to close this out. But right now, if uh, Sabo can get a foothold on stage, that will cut off not a whole lot of damage, but still damage nonetheless that, um, that uh, Sauce could rack up on stage and potentially uh, you know, a game of numbers, it could be 1% that uh, spells victory or defeat. And one going the way of Sabo, one inch closer to that reset round that you were talking about. Sabo got to keep himself chilled though as a back air through the grenades will keep it even. Sauce is not going to get that forward air very easily if he can get it at all. Sabo, uh, very slippery and very sneaky in terms of his movement and, uh, defensively. I don't think he's going to recover high all that much, even though that's not generally what you want. Right. With, uh, with Snake, you're really trying to change uh, Snake's whole game plan here, and you're doing so at the behest of this Mario, which, uh, I mean, this is a matchup that can give you a few headaches. Oh, yeah, I mean, with Mario's head swinging around, it's providing headaches to someone. Yeah, but, I mean, either on the receiving end or uh, or the giving end. But frankly, we don't know how that feels for Mario, but... He seems fine. Oh! oh! <laughs> we get that double takeout, final stock, final round on the first, on the winner's side. This will be it. Will we have a winner uh, claimed and definitive answer, or will we have another at least three rounds to go? One stock to settle it. Sabo versus Sauce. This has been a marathon thus far. And this is going to be an absolute fight to the finish, swinging away. Look not holding shield nearly as much as I thought he would. An early lead for Sabo. But Sauce is not done yet, but he'll have to make it back to the stage. Goes Dealing low. That snake back air, that's not easy. Yeah, getting around it. Their percentages leading up to it were so even right now. Sauce getting stage control, going to even it back up. Skirting away, C4, not gonna find back air, not gonna hit the hit he wants, neutral, neutral air. air. Cypher coming in, he's gotta probably C4 it. No, he gets there with an air dodge. Oh, and he makes it back with the up air. Spot well. dodge, incredible, oh my, and oh two. my god. Bravo resets the bracket, it's a whole new ball game. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. We're gonna need a mini ball substitute in a second. I cannot take another three rounds nonetheless. Okay, this is bro. amazing. It's okay, man. No, we're in this together, man. <laughs> we're in this together. It's okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. All right, all right. Back in oh, it. All right. But let's, let's take a minute to unpack what just yes, happened yes, here, Boston. Yeah. Frankly, there was a lot and a lot of emotion and energy running high in this venue right yeah. now. As we reset the bracket, game number one, Sauce getting chased. Back to Roy, I, I don't think going Mario there is necessarily the wrong move. I think it was very good, but eventually getting red on that up tilt, as he did to that Roy earlier on as we go to Pokemon Stadium 1. Yeah. I, I have to wonder, I mean, what was the key to victory for Sabo in that game number two, that last stock situation, where again, Sabo was clutching it out. And again, it's just that, as we saw the, the round prior, it was that reverse up tilt. Mario was trying to go left to right on Snake. And again, maybe not realizing it the first time, but that up tilt will provide coverage for him as he goes left to right. It might, you know, peak up in the air a little faster than Sauce was expecting. And, um, you know, he's doing what he needs to do on stage. And Sauce was uh, climbing ahead very, very quickly. But again, that, that up tilt, it... It's, it sneaks up on you. It sneaks up on you. That's all I can say about it right now. And sneak up on him, it did to the effect of a bracket reset. Neutral air is going to put Sabo off stage, but unfortunately, it's going to be an option from Sabo that puts, uh, puts Sauce into the blast zone. Going so out first, with Aaron. First blood being drawn hmm. by Sabo. No! Here. He does not make it back 
miscalculation on the recovery. Well, at least it didn't happen last round. I, just, I guess that's the uh, the only bright side to that situation. Yeah, no, giving himself a little bit of a uh, little bit of breathing room. Sabo getting a little a measure of revenge for that uh, for that five set loss yeah. of his uh, two uh, two song. Excuse me, in winners finals. So this is the eleventh game being played between these two warriors thus far tonight. Deploying a few grenades, taking Sauce down to his last hit. Sauce. I mean, he does need to be careful that he's not demoralized here. Oh yeah, demoralizing a, a, for a, a, a huge player like that can be a very, very huge crux in terms of... Uh, I, I, I can't find the word still, but um, a lot of players, when they get emotionally invested, if they get the negative side of that, uh, it's all said and done. There, there's no coming back from it. If you feel like you're going to lose, then you're probably going to lose. And a lot of the top players, you know, they say, okay, what can I do instead of dwelling on uh, the negative side? They try to learn from their past mistakes. Learning uh, mistakes and uh, failure is the best teacher. And right now, um, we are on last side here. Again, the uh, last radius of C4. Not going to provide as much coverage as Sabo wanted. But still, the Cypher going to stifle any sort of uh, edge guard potential that uh, Sauce had there. And he's still moving in, trying to uh, trying to trick him with dancing play, but again with that up tilt, again. Sabo keeps smacking him around with that up tilt, and all of a sudden, the expression on Sauce's face has changed dramatically. Absolutely. Sabo going up one to nil, and Sauce coming through to grand finals on winner's side this time. He does not want to go out with a second place finish again. No, <laughs> I mean just the the amount of skill that we've seen from both these guys. This is a resume game for sure, but this could be etched into CMB like Hall of Fame at this point. The, the, the skill that we've seen, not even from Grand Finals no less, but like semis and quarters was phenomenal tonight. We don't have that many uh, people because of Smash Adelphia happening, uh, because there were some late entrances and they had to get DQ'd unfortunately. But still, these guys are still putting on a spectacle and giving you guys I mean, if you're giving us money, you're, you're getting your money's worth. It is a testament, Mini Boss, to the depth and viability of the Philadelphia PR. Right. And just how deep this region can go. We had many people from uh, different uh, different parts of the world. Obviously, Black Tiger visiting Whoa, from New Jersey. Wait. Just waits it out, Sabo. <laughs> Excuse me, dude. However, forward smash to the face, Sauce with the response, and that was uh, attitudinal to say the least of the boss. I mean, yeah, when you got an RPG that close, the closer you hold the T, the uh, more explosive the result, and, uh, you know, bar the uh, bad pun there, but just the way he was recoiling that before he charged forward was uh, a definite, uh, a definite uh, stake in the, uh, the claim that Sabo could be charging back here after that really incredible reset round and even carrying all the way through that you know he was on the bad end of grand finals and he's still charging through locking down that stage control 108 to 74 percent now uh sauce finally getting a little bit of a foothold but um sabo you know still keeping that freshness but uh he's gonna have to start fresh on this final stock uh in this round two and uh, he is uh, going to have to do it very quick to get around how Sauce is playing, resorting to a lot of flood and fireball play, pulling back, playing defensively, not getting as much damage, racked up on himself, and trying to get a uh, very easy round here. Here's way to start things off. Sabo trying to avoid these combinations, but I mean, it's like death taxes and Mario up air combos. I'm not really <laughs> sure exactly what you want to do about that, Sabo, but. Where there's a will, there's a way, I well, suppose. Death, taxes, Mario combos, and snake grenades. You got know, that you crucial know, moment. Yeah. You are not wrong about that, mini boss. <laughs> Looking for that up tilt again just to clean off that second stock. But Sauce, beautiful tech to save his own life. Right, and that drop and down! But what? he'll miss! That air and dodge. Sauce. Yeah, you could not reset with C4. Even if it would have uh, bounced him too fast, the uh, C4 option was not out with that directional air dodge. Or I think it was regular air dodge, actually. I want to say you're right. Okay. On one of those, anyway. <laughs> it, it was a mouthful, but uh, yeah. Yeah, commentary ain't easy. Nope, not. <laughs> I've been at it for five years, and I still struggle with it. 
Well, maybe I had three and then like a two-year hiatus because of family problems, but. Well, either way, man. Yeah. We, uh, we know where you're at. We know what you're doing. We respect it. I respect you, dude. Because <laughs> we got a Pokemon Stadium go, for game go. number two. And, and again, the stake, wow. the aggressor to start things off, as Sabo does like to be. But it's been, uh, this Roy has given him uh, just a myriad problems. Yeah, that double so grenade set. set up to C4, like we saw before, uh, Sabo really practiced with putting that pressure right on that uh, get up or uh, attack option. And it does lead uh, Snake a little more breathing room because it, it does give uh, Roy, um, the, not really, not, doesn't give him the option rather to stay close. But uh, he is staying close as he takes out with back air. Very nice response from Sauce off of that edge guard. The jab to put Sabo into disadvantage to begin with and the back air to finish it off. However, right. Sabo says, you know what? I don't know why you haven't learned your lesson with this up tilt, but I'm going to keep throwing it out until you learn, kid. School is in session. I don't care if it's the end of June. And Sabo, a strict taskmaster to be sure. Look at the... Reap the benefits oh, of such. My God, that, that was a uh, very janky string, but a string nonetheless. And uh, the C4 is on Snake. He's got to be careful of that 30 second countdown because the C4, oh, it does drop off of him. Uh, the C4 will explode uh, if Snake doesn't trigger it in 30 seconds. So he was glad that he got it off him. And uh, approaching these high percentages, it definitely would have claimed stock. Snake has to be so thankful that he actually used the cheap adhesive that time. <laughs> Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Yeah, bro. Well, what was it? The uh, Mighty Putty. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's but right. it's not actual <laughs> Mighty Putty. It's like the rip-off stuff that you get from the dollar store. Right. <laughs> the one that, that, you know, you can pull off the print from the newspaper. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it's essentially just silly putty, but, like, white. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that stuff was useless. My mom actually, <laughs> my mom tried to tr hang a whole picture frame with that thing. Oh. That thing got busted up. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Yeah, no, gra <laughs> gravity, gravity wins that match. <laughs> gravity wins every time. I'm just gonna yeah. put that out there. 80-20. Gravity. <laughs> gravity versus everything else is an 80-20 matchup. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> But both I mean, we can uh, sauce understanding the gravity of the situation for certain. The back air. NASA has that inside pitch. <laughs> Little early on the neutral beat, right. but Sabo is allowed to come back. Maybe, and uh, maybe getting, maybe rolling the dice a little too much is sauce. Uh, very questionable. Yeah, especially you know this joint's moving in. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, okay, okay. Wasn't expecting it to end, but all right. Nor was I, and I don't think <laughs> Sauce was either. He realizes the situation. He is one game away, but then again, he was in the last set as yes, well. Sabo, this will be the 14th game that these two have played. Wow. If they do not have the download on each other by now, <laughs> I'm not really sure what, uh, what else to say, but Mini Boss, this has turned into more than just a set. This is a war of attrition. Oh, God, yes. One of these two is going to break upon the other, and the question now, Mini Boss, is which one is it going to be? Uh, we'll see uh, from the picks here. Both of them going the same characters. Uh, so, I mean, these guys have been going back and forth. It's going to be really hard to claim, but uh, I don't know. I'd, starting off, I want to say that Sabo has been putting Sauce in a... Uh, very big mess of pressure situations early on. So, uh, we're gonna have to see how Sauce counteracts it, but he gets, wow. the shield break. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna take, but uh, the opportune punish there, uh, he got uh, the double tilt into a grenade explosion. So, great shield break and racked up enough damage to barely sweep past 50 there. I believe it was about 49 when all said and done. And uh, Sabo still charging ahead. 102 and take out in the end. Crawling backwards. Snake's got to be feeling himself right now. Laying down those uh, grenades. He has a lot of uh, playroom to work with right now. Snake, I mean, uh, sitting at 86%, Sabo has been known to respond to these uh, high pressure situations. 
in the past. These are the sorts of things that you can't put down on a matchup chart. You can't just uh, lab this stuff. This is either you have it or you don't. The intangibles of Smash, the right. intangibles of competition as a whole. Sabo has that in spades and trying to show it here against Sauce. That low Zinat, drop down. 128% the survivability of Snake on full display and will be on Town and City until there. Sauce trying to even things up and well on his way to doing so. Again, that grenade breakout has proved so effective for so many snakes tonight and uh, it's proven uh, it's pretty effective for Sabo as well. Haven't seen a whole lot of it, but right there, it could have. Uh, it was a very, very uh, smart decision, uh, decision maker rather, because it broke him out of a potentially very long combo from the Roy. As Go KK Rider plays in the background, Sauce trying to ride his way into a victory, but Sabo doing everything in his power to prevent it, as he will try to prevent Sauce from getting back to the stage, going over Snake this time. Good idea, but there's only so much you can do in the face of all these projectiles. I think the platform might have saved him from that mortar there. Yeah, yeah, it did. And I think C4 got carried out as well, so we will have to lay a new one out, but not needed yet again. Snake's so practiced with his versatile tool set. Uh, he knows the exact tool for the job and dashes in. Maybe the tool is himself as he throws in those arms with that dash attack. Pressure and Sauce yet again. Sauce struggling to find a way in to get that uh, stock claim and make it 1-1 in terms of stocks. Finally gets it with that uh, that uh, connection with that back air in the end. But 53 has to be really careful with what Snake, Snake can lay out against a fresh stock character. And Sabo, he plays this character so quickly. Can this Roy keep up? Missing on the grab, not like that he can't. Yeah, missed time the grenade uh, collision there, or the explosion. And so, again, Mortar gonna skirt around it. Sauce getting stage control in the middle, but a little DBZ back and forth, and Sabo benefits with Nikita. Gets that turnaround dash attack. He's locking down stage. Grenade and not gonna pop. Dictating the movement perfectly. That right. Nikita saying, okay, you know what? I may not know where you're going, but I know exactly where you are, and, and there, is the up tilt once again, oh lays him down, God. kicks him up. Sabo again, fighting his way back. We're going to game five yet again, mini boss. It has been forever since we've seen, not only like you said, 15 games from these two players right now, but a round 10 from the reset. Uh, I, I love it. <laughs> it has been so long and we need you back game 10 situation. Not to mention the uh, the five games before that yeah. in winner's final where they came so close, Sauce eventually pulling that out. Right, right. But he's going to need to do this. Will he stay with Roy? What do you foresee here? <laughs> I foresee, look at this crowd in the back. That was insane, the emotional wow, support of yeah. both of them. We got <laughs> and a handshake between the two gentlemen. Incredible. They have earned each other's respect but only one can earn the title of Code Name Bears 193 Go! champion to Smashville to settle it. Starting off with a roll in, probably not the best option against the uh, speed of Sauce. Was able to recognize it, get a uh, to get a grab combo. Charges through with the tilt, but again the follow up cut off with a fireball. Finally, haven't seen a whole lot of them from Sauce. Uh, I'm struggling to fit in my words with the amount of air I have in my lungs because again, right off the get go. Uh, Sauce does an amazing job just applying immediate pressure on the opponent. And he, Snake is already sitting at 120 and but almost gone there. So Sabo is going to have to fight for his life uh, only about 30 seconds in. Yeah, we have not had a single moment to catch our breath. They have been in each other's faces for quite some time. And really, it's uh, as good as the Roy has performed here tonight. Right. As good as we've seen, uh, seen him do with Fox in the past. It says a lot, the fact that, okay, this is a game five situation. I will trust in the Mario to sort this thing out. He does get the grab, down throw, looking to finish it off with that down air. And he will do so, second time's a charm. We're even at two stocks apiece. This whole venue has stopped to watch these two warriors oh God, fight it out have. one more time. <laughs> that is incredible. I don't even think the guys that regularly play Mario Party are still, uh, uh, still paying attention to their game right now. Uh, and right now, I mean, first stop claims uh, went 0-0. Zero, zero. They were on fresh stops. Both of them. Oh, Whoa! And the edge out. comes out for Sabo! An incredible read off that roll! 
Phenomenal stuff from the Philadelphia number five. And now it's Sauce on the ropes with his last stock in hand. All you need is a chip and a chair to win a tournament, Mini Boss. But are the cards going to be dealt in favor of Sauce here? It's going to be very hard because we're going to see Sabo pocket a lot of grenades to break out of any sort of uh, combo that Mario could lead up with. So uh, Sauce right now is going to have to fight to get every single and inch. He just fight he does, but, but he no! can't make it back. Oh my god, no way! He went for it all oh. and went down in flames for the trouble. It will be Sabo oh. that wins Codename Bears 193. I mean, yeah, that the way that that first stock went, he got, you know, 2 2 situation, then a very quick forward smash takeout. I sort of understand why he did it. We hate women and children! <laughs> hey, let's not get that on there. Uh, yeah, sorry, Ed. The emotion yes. from Sauce. He knows oh, okay. how close he was. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't even see that. No, it's... No, but I mean... That's... No, 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 no. Yeah. No, that's no, no. what it means. Yes, absolutely. That's what it means to he these He was people. so close. So close. It and means I, that much. I mean, you're talking about a guy like Sauce yeah. who lives and breathes Philadelphia. Yeah. It means so much to him to have come so close. And he, he had the right call in mind, but the recovery simply was not there. A exactly. miscalculation at the very end. And Sauce, you got to think. Yeah. You have to think, Mini Boss, that this is the sort of thing. This is the sort of pain that is going to make him so much stronger in the long run. Yeah. But right now, this has got to hurt. It does have to hurt, but emotionally invested players, they do phenomenally in the long run. They they breathe. They live and breathe this game. As we get a uh, fist bump from practically everyone in the venue is trying to cheer him up. And, I mean, that speaks to PA, but that speaks to Sauce as well. You know, again, how invested he gets in this game, he, you know, he is... He is down to play this game at any sort of level, level, whether it be, you know, for a paycheck or whether it be for fun. He, he you saw how practiced his Mario was. His Fox is incredible. His Roy is incredible. Might not be Lab up to Mario. Ex yeah, and Greninja too. He's he's looking for a fourth character. That, yeah. that alone is insane. And just the way that he feels about this game, taking this loss, you know, I mean... My heart speaks out to him, but at the same time, he had a, I mean, I'm trying to find the right word. The, it was one of the best sets we've seen thus yes. far in the lab. Uh, game 10, no less. I, I Again, Absolutely. I have not seen a game 10 in so long here at Codename Bears. Whether it be for me not, you know, paying attention to the, screen, uh, the stream or, you know, it just not happening because we see most of the PAPR still in it and it goes 3-1 or 3-0. But for him to go game 10 against Sabo, Sabo, I mean, credit to him too, uh, charging forward, making that game 10, but going toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone that is in the PR bracket, not, I mean, like the in 10. The PR, yeah. Yeah, in I mean. The top five. Pe yeah, people don't respect the 15 enough. Like, they say PR 10 and they think that's it. 15s, they're still a threat, oh, as yeah. we saw tonight. I mean, Incredible job from him. It's not going to be etched in stone, that 193 for Sauce, but watch out for him. Watch out for him. Sauce is uh, going to come back. He'll be looking for the three-peat in terms of appearances in Grand Finals, perhaps looking for the victory at 194. But the day belongs to Sabo, a well-earned victory after 50, after losing in Winner's Final. That too, yeah. Comes back. Resets the bracket and claims it by a score of three to two in both sets. That's going to do it for us. Special thanks to ProGuides.com, folks. If you want to up your game, you're going to want to visit ProGuides.com with guys like with uh, featuring players like Zero. You really can't go wrong. So check it out, ProGuides.com, folks. It's been Chia in production. Uh, follow her on Twitter at Clash underscore Chia. Mini Boss, where can they get at you on Twitter, my man? Mini Boss underscore SSB. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter as well, as well at Stu the Announcer. Folks, that's going to do us. Uh, that's going to do it for us yes. here. <laughs> Frankly, we are tired. Yes. We're exhausted, and we are so thankful that you joined us. Took some time out of your lives, doubt, yeah. to uh, enjoy some smash in the tonight. city of brotherly love. So, from all of us here at the laboratory, this is Stu the Announcer saying good night from Codename Bears.